boot camp is the story of our team. You ready? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Buzz always says it's what our team is for him. Let's go down. Let's go down. Let's go down. Let's go down. Just go as hard as you can go for two minutes. Avante's moving, boy. Okay, take it. Keep moving. Good job, big boy. Good job, big boy. This is by far the hardest boot camp since I've been here, and that's on purpose uh, because guys are going to have to be more than they've ever been. As hard as we worked in boot camp, this is just the beginning. Sonny, go! Stop! We don't play like this! Get out! Play! Play! Go! Play it again! Play it again! Come on! Come on! Go again! Go! 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 Go, Junior! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Got it! Got it! Similar to boot camp, when there's stress on you, then you get to figure out what you're about. That's why we work the way we do, so that we already have endured some of that stress prior to the stress that uh, the Buckeyes will put on us in a couple of weeks. Welcome to the flight to Charleston. I remember I was talking to Jamil, my roommate, the other day. Somebody tweeted 100 days till basketball season. Now it's two. Yeah, we're definitely going uh, over there to win. The last couple of weeks we've been practicing. And we just hope that our work is going to be is going to show and uh, be able to like say we beat the number 14 in the country. Playing the K Classic means a lot to me. My dad served in the military. He was at the end of Desert Storm, so I know what it's like for people to have family members gone. And I think it shows so much respect, and us being able to play for them is an honor for us. I like the locker room experience. It was a cool experience. It was a lot different from being in our locker room at the Bradley Center. Imagine you get the middle or the bottom bunk. The locker room, which was really their, their bedroom, to see how those guys slept three by three, one at the bottom, one in the middle, one at the top, you know, like a deluxe bunk bed was like incredible. It's the first game of the year. It's going to be sloppy. It's going to be wild. Whoever scores the most layups or whoever gives up prevents the most layups, that's who's going to win the game. This will be the game. Paint touch, layups, free throws. Guys, I like the new tradition. You guys know I'm a pitcher freak, but we really need to get this one printed up. None of us in here will ever have another opportunity to take this kind of picture. Every road game that we go on or that we play, we're gonna take a picture. And the only way we can hang it up on Coach Buzz's door is if we win that game. So that's a little bit motivation. I mean, we, that was such a unique picture that we wanted, we needed to win that game so that we could keep that and frame that and hang it up. Let's hang this one up. Not trying to motivate you. I really want to hang it up. Got it? Let's go. Let's go, man. We are just about set to open the season. Marquette against Ohio State. And Chris O'Toole will jump it up for Marquette. We walked out onto the court, and when we first got out there, something wasn't right. We go out to center court, and and I honestly was ready to go, and I come over, and I almost slipped and fell. It was so slippery. It was literally like an ice rink. I don't know, John. I don't know. That that ain't that ain't like a spot. It's like the floor. Buzz Williams is out on the floor. Did you oh, see it? Yeah. No, I know. And then I went over there and wiped it. And as soon as I wiped it, here it comes. I think we need to warm up a few minutes and kind of see. We ain't playing if somebody's gonna get hurt. The paramount importance here is the student athlete safety and that we're going to jeopardize that if we play this game. We regret to inform you the game has been deemed a no contest due to weather conditions. Hey guys, we're not going to play. It's a hard feeling to explain because, you know, you're so amped that all of a sudden it just hits you and, you know, your blood pressure just goes low. You're like, dang, I can't even play anymore. You had the adrenaline going. You're so ready to prepare for it for weeks. And I think just saying you can't play just kind of brought everybody down. It's disappointing. But at the same time, you, you can't, <laughs> I mean, I've, I have three texts from three parents saying, thanks for making the right decision. What's my reaction? Uh, it's unfortunate that we come play the game. Really looking forward to putting on a show for the troops, but uh, 
at the end of the day, we're not going to risk our bodies. Head, of course, head, head. No, we didn't get to play the game, but the purpose of the trip was served anyways. But at least we get to pay our respects to the wounded warriors, and that's why we're going out back onto the court right now. The most memorable part of the trip for me was meeting all the men and women after the game, even though we couldn't play and to see the disappointment on their face, but just to thank you for everything they do for us. Yeah, I'll be looking at y'all, man. I'll be looking at y'all, ESPN. Yes, sir. I guess we'll always remember what happened. That's a great picture. Even though we didn't get to play, I keep asking him about it. Is he going to hang it up or not? Because that's a picture, I mean, that's the experience you won't forget. <laughs> Look at Wayne Wright. <laughs> <laughs> just having that up can remind us of how we're blessed and grateful in so many ways. That picture can sum up everything in a lot of words, depending on how you look at it.